thousands of American veterans discharged due to their sexuality, gender identity, or HIV status under the now repealed Don't Ask, Don't Tell policy are finally getting their benefits. Tonight, Coin6 follows up to ask what it means for those veterans and for their families. And so this is, this is potentially huge for us. Don't Ask, Don't Tell was put in place in 1994 by then-President Bill Clinton as a compromise. It allowed LGBTQ members to serve in the military as long as they stayed silent. In 2011, that policy was repealed by President Obama, allowing all to serve openly regardless of their sexual identity. But according to the Center for American Progress, an estimated 14,000 gay and lesbian service members were discharged from the military while the policy was in place. It really makes you be untruthful. And then that is something that, you know, really confuses you in your mind and in your heart about your integrity. That is always something that will continuously eat at me, uh, I mean, I'm sure, until the day that I die. Ten years after the end of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, the Department of Veterans Affairs says those members who received other than honorable discharges are now eligible for full benefits. That includes medical care, compensation, pensions, and education. Oregon Assistant Director of Statewide Veterans Service Joe Glover has a message for veterans who were previously denied. Anyone that might have pursued benefits in the past and had been turned down or denied because of this, um, we strongly, strongly encourage them to reach back out again and, and try again under this new understanding. Glover says it's another huge step on the path to full equality. It will just continue to improve uh, 